me, just in case. And this is Chad. Boop, boop, boop. Shrink, I do, that good? Holy shit. We've got some news today. Just, uh, nothing too big. Nothing too big. Anybody, anybody, anybody lucky? So it has been a week. Let's do some news. Let's do some news! Woo! What's up? <laughs> oh, my mom's here too! Oh, I gotta clean this shit up now! Woo! Oh my god! Dang it! Thank you, mom! Welcome, everybody! To news! 100 episodes! My mom says hi. We still got some drinky? Celebrate a little bit, everybody? Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> Cheers, everybody. 100 episodes. Listen. Listen. Oh, you got to take a drink. First off. Mm. <sighs> yeah, I just, cha I just changed the color for the 100th episode. I figured that was probably the best thing to do. Something subtle, right? Didn't want to go too overboard. Hey, 100 episodes. You guys, thank you so much for making this possible. Making this possible. I, I included some like tidbits in there. It wasn't really an intro. It was just kind of like a package, like a hundred episode package to kind of show everything. You know, not everything, but just gonna show a couple of things, show that all the episodes, you know, like there's like 30 something episodes represented in that in that clip. Um and you know, just just to show like how much of a fucking mess is on my desk now. <laughs> just to show <laughs> I mean just how long we've been doing it. It said it said what, September 28th, 2018. 2018 so almost four years ago we started this show almost four years it was awesome even though there's a small f in the middle of it oh was there was there a small issue no dang it uh <laughs> the song was by miss thank you so much miss i actually have a uh cool little little background beat now so one one i just kind of i don't know have a background beat so i can slowly fades out you know thank you so much miss i appreciate you appreciate you i also i also i mean i kind of went i kind of i kind of did a lot back here but you can't really see uh let me turn on the fan here <laughs> maybe i can clear some of this shit off <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is so much Man, I brought back all the favorites, man. I got Frida here underneath the 7-Eleven side. I got the mirror ball. I got my lord, my lordship thing over here. I, bro I, man, I broke out all the stuff, but you can't see it. Too much fog. <laughs> Mike's body is hot, but nah, man, we fixed the folk. We fixed the fog machine for a reason. Where's Fred Bob? Okay, so listen. Here, 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 we changed the color, remember? I didn't want to break any hearts. <laughs> we changed the color for Declan's project, for his Halloween costume. But he's still here, he's still here in spirit. We even covered the back, look at that. Oh, he's an Enderman now. He's an Enderman now, what'd you do? Let's come on. We gotta evolve our, our characters. Character progression. Fuck. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> Ender Bob, that's right, Ender Bob. 
so so yes again uh and i also want to thank specifically also everybody who's like throwing down like mad shit right before the stream uh right before uh we uh, we started the news this is all going in by the way it's all going in. it's a celebration it's a celebration so it's, we're just gonna like kind of go off the cuff here a little bit but i do have some news though we do have actual news i'm trying to find the hole here and i'm not really working out i love your mom where we get an interview with her you <laughs> it's gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna happen i'm actually kind of excited for you guys to meet my mom because uh, uh then you can see where i get it from <laughs> but himes thank you so much huge 50 subs thank you thank you if that's the way it's gonna be next week's 100 episode two we'll just do it every week every 100th episode we'll celebrate every single week make every single one a big one also <laughs> shy rule thank you boots thank you uh gosh what was it? I, I i stopped the thing clayton lack serene dino shy rule nitsuit darky for all the pixels <laughs> Uh, have you met your mom? You guys have not met my mother. You guys have not met my mother. It's taking a really long time to... Oh, Vextris! God damn! I can't even... I can't... I, it's... it's. Hold on. I gotta hit the... I gotta hit the play for that. Boom! There it is. I gotta hit the play for that. Vextris, also thank you! Damn! While she's hired drunk? No, she doesn't do that. I've tried. <laughs> Dang! Holy shit! Holy shit! Man, thank you guys! Thank you. I got dressed up too. What do you think? I tried to find the loudest thing that I, I, I tried to find the loudest thing that I owned that I haven't already worn. <laughs> like on 420, I was wearing the loudest outfit that I could find at the time. I had to go dig up this. Look at this thing. Ooh. <laughs> and it's got these sunglasses in. They're supposed to be for a shoot, but they were late. So they're mine now. My own John's. Mm. Dude, thank you guys. Ah, total Vice City mob boss. I like it. So, 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 uh, a couple of small things that I put in that intro there. Uh, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but there's, there's, when I said uncensored, I was trying to find things to fill in. There's like all these like things in the templates, like, oh, put some text here, put some text here. And I was like, oh man, I'm kind of running out of text, man. Like, what am I going to talk about? There's like, when we started the show, uh, the let's do some news thing we've done on 99 out of 100 episodes. So that was kind of funny. We just missed one episode, the very first one, because we didn't really have a thing. But by the second episode, we got it. Um, and then uh, next week will be the first episode after 100. Yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the butt, the butt was censored. Yeah, that's what I'm, try I'm trying to pull that up here real quick. Um, but yeah, like there, there was this number of things that were just randomly censored by YouTube. And you, oh, it's always YouTube that's doing the, uh, doing the dirty work here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so this here is, here is, we did, we did a subject. It was on, uh, um, it was on uh, Mass Effect removing... Uh, some of the some of the some of the uh, the camera angles changing some of the camera angles up a little bit. Let me turn my there you go. So that way the butts of my glasses. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and so I put a face on it, right? I was like, oh, we'll do this. This is perfect, right? And then they 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 the YouTube actually like said, no, you can't do that. And I was like, what? Like they censored me and they sent me a little email and they're like, you can't do that. Don't be doing don't be doing that shit. I was like. How'd you guys even know it was a butt? Do you guys have like this butt on file or something like that? Like this is this is a very specific butt and it's one little portion of it. It could have been anything, right? So I had to change it to this nonsense. <laughs> Stupid. So that was one that they did. The other one, which is f far less salacious. I got an email about this. YouTube was upset. <laughs> they were like, you can't, you can't, you can't use that or something. <laughs> <laughs> so i i just removed it I, I felt like the best thing to do is just remove it and then there you go so so the only two times that we've ever been uh, uh censored by i guess a youtube specifically uh have been on on thumbnails and that was pretty much it so that's pretty good man 100 episodes talking all kinds of shit only twice have a thumbnail like take it down that's pretty much it pretty good pretty good um the fuck right is it home star runner yeah what's wrong with that i have no idea what's wrong with that i have no i don't know they don't tell you they just say mm, you can't use this like it was i think for that one it was like something with that had to do with like adult or sensitive content or something like that like i guess they thought that i don't know i don't know what they thought i have no idea what they thought <laughs> it was a machine so i guess it didn't red black and white logo the constituent parts of something else oh god <laughs> I wonder if that was what it was. <laughs> they confused the the neighborhood watch dude with the uh, uh with a swastika. 
Can you imagine? Probably. Boom, baby. Probably. Clunkers, thank you. Number one, I truly push the bar of the algorithm. Appreciate you. That's probably exactly. That's pretty funny. Wow. Let's see if we can change that today. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, like I said, I do, we do have news, but like I really, 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 really want to stress that you guys are amazing. Is it still really foggy in here? Oh, wow. It's still really foggy. Oh, wow. <laughs> I can't see shit in here. All right. Um, anyways, you guys are amazing. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for helping me do this for so many years. Not just this, but everything else, of course, too. Your money just, doesn't just go straight towards the news, but I know for most of you guys, it's probably where it belongs, right? So, we're going to keep doing it. Sorry we missed a few episodes. Life shit happened. I promise I wasn't delaying because it was 100. I was ready to do 99.5. <laughs> but I really wanted to do this. I wanted to set everything up. That way we could have a nice, fancy show. I ain't done shit. You pay to feed Sunday. She gets fed. She gets fed. Not as often as she would like, but she gets fed. It goes to party favors. I know. I had all, all these party favors and everything. I got balloons. Look, we got balloons. My mom went put some balloons. Look, woo, 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 woo. Woo, woo, woo. There are some balloons back here, but you can't really see them. <laughs> uh, chat fun of the nudes. Our taxpayers well spent. What is this? News 101, the DigiHoo Return episode. I still got to talk to Josh about that and see how we can make that work if he's interested. We kind of we joke around about that a lot. I don't know if that's really a, a thing. Or also, if I'm interested too, like we got to figure out if that's going to work. You know, like maybe maybe what we're doing right now with the news is fine. Hmm? 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 Tinsel streamers. Oh, yeah. Tinsel streamers the whole night. A reunion episode sounds dope. We'll do that at 200. <laughs> That'll be a 200. All right. I'll see you guys there. It looks like three and a half years to get there. If we do, if we do more episodes, we could probably get there a little bit faster. Ah, in four years, yeah. Looks like 422. <laughs> well, Josh, you should be here too. Him, chisel the whole damn crew. This is the news. This is the news. Hundredth episode. But I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. We'll think about it. Moving on, we have we do have some news. Oh, I also mentioned in the in the intro uh, segment that uh, I want I was curious of what what did we talk about the most. So I started searching for like things that we talk about often, and by a long shot, by a long shot, it was Blizzard. All things Blizzard. <laughs> Fifty out of a hundred episodes, we talked about Blizzard. Of course. Even Randy, even Randy didn't get, didn't get close. And NFTs, the thing that, that we talk about too much. <laughs> Seven. Amaranth, six. <laughs> Soldier Boy, four. <laughs> so it's, it's. <laughs> But Randy got a butt. Randy got a butt on a soundboard. <laughs> Randy really got a butt. On, I forgot. He got like two buttons. <laughs> it was like four. He has like four articles of Soldier Boy. You know, I probably missed one though because he was getting involved with some other bullshit. But I'm swear, I swear, it's like four. How many episodes did you play the button though? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me double check that. Let me double check that number. I got I got it up right here. We're gonna filter. We're gonna filter by description. And then in that description, I'm going to put soldier. Oops, I spelt it wrong. <laughs> Even though it's spelt wrong, it's fine. Let's see. Soldier. Boom, and it's, oh, no, no, no. I was wrong. It actually came up in more. Uh, it's actually 10. I wonder what if I, I must have fucked something up a search before. It was 10. So still, a far cry from Blizzard, but more than a lot of other stuff. Tanneros, give a 12 month sub. Oh, shit. Damn, Jen's gonna be able to stay subbed until she almost gets her cast off. <laughs> Wait, is Jen in here? Is she sneaking in here? Is she? Oh, I, I, I hope she sneaks in here and sees this thing in action. Did you see all this in action, babe? Can you play the soundboard? Let us know where the board is at now at episode one hundred. Sure. Uh, well, we have some music now. Uh, we have Bruh. the we have the, the Bruh. Bruh's of the staples. Boom. I'm done now. We got that one picked up. 
got my it's a classic. Well, well, well. Uh huh. When we're applying the community guidelines, we very specifically take context and intent into account. Mm -hmm. That's like a permanent. Can't read a map. Isn't it? I actually just reset some of them too. It's you. Oh, oh, dang. You, 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 we we'll do a live mashup of all of this, all all of them, all of them to a to a beat. Oh man! All right, so can you guys guess what we're talking about first? Huh? 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 <laughs> Naturally. Naturally, Blizzard. That's right, Blizzard. Specifically, Bobby Kotick's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, hey, Jen made it. Babe, look at, look at me. <laughs> look at what mom did. <laughs> Great job. Oh, thank you, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for something for a year, by the way, babe. Appreciate you. <laughs> oh, drama. That's right. So Bobby had a girlfriend. And not just any girlfriend. The COO of Meta. That's Facebook. And she had apparently, had apparently, you help with the confetti? You guys have planned this. It's perfect. I appreciate It's good because I need to clean my desk. <laughs> Shocking, I know. So Cheryl Sandberg, CEO of Meta, uh, pulled some strings, pushed some buttons made a couple calls to make sure that some of this negative, this negative stories that the Daily Mail specifically were publishing never saw the light of day and succeeded twice in doing so. Once in 2016 and then again in 2000, uh, what was it, 19 or is it recently? We were more recent than that. Uh, 2019, yeah, here it is. So. They, you know, now if you recall, around this time, Daily Mail was starting to, Daily Mail's like news segment or news uh, 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 um, uh, department was like really getting a lot of funding and like really taking the shit seriously, doing actual investigative journalism and like doing, you know, doing a lot of like, uh, uh, breaking a lot of stories. Um, you say they're the perfect couple? Yeah. Huh. Uh, did she ever silence you? I oh, know, but I'm sure she's coming for me. She ain't found me yet. I'm in disguise. It's only surprised that it came out to the public. That's right. So, uh, so, so, so Cheryl Sandberg, who is, uh, who is a, a, a leader amongst, uh, uh, in, a, in a, fe a feminist or a women's rights, uh, movement or, or, uh, a group, uh, is, you know, totally chill with squashing stories about sexual harassment and everything. It's her ex-boyfriend or slash, slash then boyfriend. Um, and yes, finally, these stories have come to light some years later now uh, and took about his scrubbing Hooli search results <laughs> Mike is only re yeah, only 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 uh, MySpace so she did say she did say in some of her veil threats that you know this kind of uh, reporting could have a negative impact on on Facebook and so Facebook is now is now investigating this and seeing if she did in fact break any rules or anything uh, or just basically should do anything that wrong in this. Now, it's being reported um, that she did use her influence in this way. So I would say the answer is probably yes. <laughs> but, um, you know, when you investigate yourself, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> you never, oh, I'm going to punch myself. And that's it. That's it, man. That's it. Looks hazy in there. Yeah, man. Mm. Why are all these rich people dating? dating? I know. That's why I, I was like, what the hell? It depends if they want her out. Yes, that's true. It could be, it could turn into a, you know, maybe they don't want her in a position anymore. Eh, it's a good opportunity to get rid of her. See you later. And so this right now, they're saying that they're connecting dots that don't exist. That's the statement that was made about this. So we're connecting dots that don't exist um, or something to that effect. 
<laughs> so it's something that we'll just check back later and see what happens. Now, there's more weirdness going on surrounding Blizzard and the DFEH and the uh, the lawsuit that's currently ongoing. And this, this story is now about a couple weeks old, but we didn't have news and it, it kind of rolls in here nicely. Also, you know, it's kind of a big deal, right? Speaking of rich people helping out rich people, we have an instance here of the one of the lawyers that was working on the uh, the DFEH lawsuit against Blizzard, which covers uh, sexual harassment in the workplace, amongst you know a multitude of other uh, inf or just how what do you call it? misdeeds, <laughs> frat boy culture, uh, uh, blatant sexual harassment, uh, sex covering up sexual harassment claims, uh, keeping those things from shareholders, keeping the claims from shareholders, not letting them know that there's any kind of issues or anything, right? Um, and so, but, 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 but dragons, but dragons. Uh, and so, uh, one of the lawyers on the case actually ends up, she has to end up quitting because she's saying that the office of Gavin Newsom, who is the governor of California, uh, is continually calling them with, uh, uh, at about the same pace, about, I'm sorry, with increased uh, um, frequency, the more successful they are in their case. So, the more milestones that they're hitting, the more often the government, the California government is trying to stick their nose in and be like, hey, what's going on? Including asking for information on litigation strategies, right? Uh, which they would not necessarily be privy to in a case against, a, you know, a company like this. So, personally, I think it's true. I think it's true. Activision is a really, 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 really big company right um and it's very expensive to pay off some of these uh, uh settlements that come out it's also expensive to implement policies that benefit or sorry that uh coincide with uh, uh laws and regulations here in california everything's a little bit more difficult to do in california because of all these stupid ass rules right now a lot of those rules are in place to protect people but some folks don't look at it that way and Activision Blizzard probably looking at this like, damn, this is really expensive. Maybe we should just pack up and go to some state that's not going to fuck with us too much, right? And <clears throat> maybe they leaned on the governor's office just a little bit. Protect from cancer. From a governor perspective, right? As much as I like Gavin Newsom, <laughs> despite the fact that he looks like every bad guy in every fucking game ever. <laughs> Handsome Dan. Fucking Kevin Newsom. Uh, what's more expensive, being law-abiding or bribing people? Exactly, exactly. So this to me sounds like this is this is a there's a benefactor issue here. Whereas somebody's benefiting from it. It could be Gavin Newsom's office directly. It could be the state of California, right? But either way, it's no reason for the office to get involved in a case like this to start asking for litigation strategies so they can funnel those over to who who knows where. Why do they need to know? Why do they need to know? So, <clears throat> let's go down a little bit here. It says right here, it says, As we continue to win in state court, this interference increased, mimicking the interests of Activision's counsel. Newsom's spokeswoman said, uh, Claims of interference by the governor's office are categorically false. Uh, I mean, we can't ever really believe what, what, <laughs> what a politician says. It says, it says that um, uh, the State Department of Fair Employment and Housing sued the company uh, in July. And this is where the frat boy culture and the breeding ground for harassment and all this stuff, right? Uh, and it says, yeah, Newsom, yeah, Newsom, a Democrat facing re-election in November. He is not facing any major appointments after handily defeating a recall. Da -da -da -da. They did not immediately answer. Uh, yeah, right now, it's just like, I'm, I'm willing to bet probably did it. Time to pack up and go to a state where Blizzard can harass women. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's possible. I mean, Blizzard, Activision Blizzard contributes to a lot here in here in California. I mean, you know, lots of jobs, lots of tax dollars, all that good stuff. I mean, look what's happening with uh, with with uh, Disney, with uh, uh, DeSantis, Ron DeSantis, who's the governor of Florida. He's going after Disney, trying to take away their taxes. Tax, uh, they have all kinds of tax exemptions because they basically run an entire city in Orlando. Reedy, Reedy something. Um, anyway, so Disney was able to swindle all these really great tax deals, but they also had to take care of all of that. They have their own fire department, their own police, all that shit. They're completely like self-contained. Um, 
And because they spoke out against the don't say gay thing that Ron DeSantis was passing, uh, now it seems like it's, it's, there's a little bit of, uh, of retaliation there, you know, big government and whatnot. And so, <clears throat> so now we're looking at the numbers and it's looking like, well, if Disney does end up losing that, which they, they did, they end up losing it, but you know, financially it still has to take effect. Um, uh, that's going to be a huge burden financially on the populace because Disney has, you know, historically been taking care of all those bills. Uh, temper tantrum politics. Yeah. Temper tantrum politics. Exactly. Exactly. So I could see, I could see this also, you know, not necessarily as big as Disney, of course, but it could be a reason to try to, to try to take a risk and just kind of nudging a little bit, just kind of see what's going on from, I mean, from an, you know, a, a, a politics standpoint, right? Not from, I mean, it's not right at all. <laughs> I can see them doing this. It doesn't mean what they're doing is right. Um, <clears throat> Disney lost something legal. Is that a first? Don't worry. They'll, they'll just fund the next governor. <laughs> they'll just buy the next governor. They'll find someone that works for them. Kick them out. All that debt goes to the taxpayers. Jeez. Yeah, exactly. So if Blizzard were to lose this case which i mean all signs point to yes they're going to lose this case and maybe this is the last straw for them after they saw what happened to riot who also had to pay like 200 million dollars um uh for their case back in like 2018 or 17 or something like that uh poppy would you miss oh well not much just doing news you know regular old news day raises souvenir prices um <clears throat> so for jesus <laughs> <laughs> what <am> I say? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Technically, never went to the judicial system, Martha. So, oh wait, 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 what I miss? What I miss? Um. Anyway, so yeah, so looking at a company like Blizzard, if they were to, to take off, and that could that could uh, have a financial impact on people in you know the LA County slash Orange County area who are employed by them, uh, and in a and in a you know, uh, well, there's no real election because he's. There's no candidate still oppose them or anything. <clears throat> That's a stat we need. How many times Mike forgot the topic? No, we don't. It's because of you guys, man. Keep interrupting me. Anyways, I picked it back up. We're all good. We're all good. We're all good. Now, they're not... And this is just one of the many, 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 many problems that Blizzard's currently juggling right now. Many, many. Another one, and it's all by their own, their own, their own doing. <laughs> So this is the NLRB. Uh, actually, I think I, sw I switched. I skipped something here. Yeah, I'm gonna switch something. Oh yeah, right. In the middle. That's right. Yeah. In the middle of all this other stuff, we got a new character announcement from Overwatch, and it's like clockwork. I don't care what the character is. It doesn't matter. But it's the same day that 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 Bloomberg drops the article. Jason Schreier drops the article uh, um, about Meta. And also, I believe uh, was also this story too. No, this is a week earlier. And so I'm not saying it's 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 in response to but it's always a coincidence and everybody everybody in here is been saying the same thing it's like in case of accusations break glass <laughs> like clockwork everybody just knows everyone just knows <laughs> when is disney gonna become a country yeah <laughs> so <clears throat> so yeah we got there's a new character as you'd expect Every time some drama comes out, oh shit, we're gonna get a new character in Overwatch too. So we covered a story a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago now. Activision Blizzard, they have a uh, the Raven Software QA team was talking about making uh, or unionizing, right? Uh, now this is this is we've talked about gamers unionizing, not gamers, sorry, but game industry folks unionizing. Um, just as a means to protect themselves, you know, for the longest time. And I even said it myself, it's like, you know, when you work for a game company, you're working there for like two or three years, then you go find something else because I mean, if you don't, the company's going to go under or they're going to lay you off or whatever. And you're just going to be SOL. So your best bet is stay for about two years, three, maybe, and then go find something else. Um, <clears throat> before you get canned unexpectedly and you're not prepared to make the move or anything. And so some of the protections that we want to have in place for people that are unionized, they don't have to worry about just getting jumped that dumped uh, on a whim. Now nah, run to place. So uh, some members of of Raven Q and A team have a uh, uh, QA, not Q and A. Q A team have uh, petitioned to the NLRB to uh, basically allow them to unionize, and Blizzard stepped in 
And their objection was that they cannot unionize a small section of Raven. You have to do the whole studio. That was their argument. And then it was struck down. I was like, no, wait, you're just, no, no, that's not the case at all. And so Blizzard's response to that <clears throat> was to uh, move them around <laughs> by embedding them into departments, thus breaking up the QA team into individuals that are now part of individual departments. And then we get this where Blizzard is Activision Blizzard is making over a thousand QA contractors full time employees. And the headline sounds great. Whoa, we did it. Finally, we said something. We stood up to the man and blah. And we got it. <laughs> but it doesn't include the employees who are trying to uh, they're, they're trying to unionize 21 employees. 21 employees. That's all it is. It's 21 employees. So <clears throat> after all this work to try to union bust without necessarily union busting because that's illegal. <laughs> Everything else they're doing is totally legal. Um, so the NLRB finally says, you know, well, actually, actually, in Blizzard's defense, like there was a statement made about the fluctuation of, of people's um, uh, compensation and how it could reflect as being an influence, uh, 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 an influence to try to get, keep somebody from unionizing. And that's what they explain here. It says, uh, uh, very, cause very complex. And it says, uh, Lenz explained that there are a number of reasons why an employer giving raises to unionized employees might be viewed as undue influence and that most employee employers choose the path of caution when in situations similar to Activision Blizzards. He added that there are circumstances where withholding pay increases to unionizing employees could be viewed as retaliatory, but it would require documentation of previously promised increases or regular increases being withheld. Of course, they know this. They, they looked it up beforehand. They're like, well, can we give everybody else a raise without giving these guys a raise legally? And it turns out, yeah, they can. Lots of union talk recent Starbucks, Apple, Amazon, and this. I know it's everywhere. All the anti-work stuff is like it's. I mean, it's it's fueling this. It's fueling this work reform. Uh, people getting paid garbage <clears throat> to uh, you know to do work that you know can you can't even pay any bills with, right? You're making basically no money. And so all that stuff is fueling this. So the NLRB gets back to them and says, "Yeah, you 21 people can absolutely." absolutely unionize go for it and that's where we're at today so i don't know how long it would take for them to get everything together but as it says right here it says they do not have to have all 200 people uh <clears throat> they voted in january and it says and then the company uh embedded the soft the, the staffers within each department right trying their best to, to break it up uh anti-work anti-exploitation yes well, the anti-work movement is the name of the thing but we all know what it means. I mean, it's just not one of those things that just like, you know, gets lost in translation, like defund the police, you know? It's like, well, I don't, we don't really mean that. <laughs> we, don't, we don't like want to not work. We just want to work to not suck. You missed the part that these 20 people cannot take those contracts as they are negotiating through the union. Yeah, so add that, add that to the list. Oh, we got, oh God, oh God, spelling error here. We got to email these guys real quick. Jeffrey. Gosh, spell check. Um, <laughs> now, speaking of speaking of union labor department stuff, you're right. It really is everywhere. Starbucks, uh, the flagship Starbucks office, I believe, just voted to unionize. There's a uh, there's an um, a Starbucks in New York that also that also uh, voted to unionize. There's, I mean, it's happening. I mean, as you mentioned, like you know, Apple, Amazon, Amazon is constantly trying to union bust constantly trying to keep people from from uh from unionizing because if they do then they'll have no choice but to raise our amazon prime by an additional twenty dollars every year we ain't got no choice we can't do it can't do next day anymore because we can't because we can't work our people like slaves and while that would suck well that would suck i mean if everyone has a better you know quality of life i guess that's okay <sighs> I was in your home city of Buffalo. Congratulations. Did you go to your unionized Starbucks? 
because he looks different in here. It smells different. It smells like freedom. It smells like workers' rights in here. <laughs> so they're not the only ones that are dealing with potential union issues. You never been to a Starbucks? What? Man, I remember when that was me. You could get Starbucks in a can just like you did with those fucking tamales. It's funny to hear Starbucks talking points about being against the unions. We don't feel we need a union to talk to our employers. Uh, one of your Amazon quotes, we don't feel we need a union to talk to our employees. Yeah. Talk four or talk two. Yeah, part four. Yeah. Same corporate lawyers. Yep. <sighs> so Nintendo. Nintendo also got hit. This is the NLRB sec segment. That's the, the National Labor Review Board. Is it a review board? I think so. No. It's a National Labor Relations... No. Relations Board. Relations Board. National Labor Relations Board. Oh, it's right there at the bottom of the screen. I could just read that. Um, <clears throat> you never been to a Starbucks? It's okay. It's fine. Why is I go to Pete's Coffee? Bitch, get out of here with that Pete's bullshit. Okay. Like, <laughs> So Nintendo got hit with a complaint. This one actually, uh, we actually have the filing for this, and it's brought up by Aston Carter. Aston Carter, I thought that was a person. I was like, who's this person? Who's Aston Carter? I don't know who this is. Why do I give a fuck about Aston? Why is he following the shit? No, it's Aston is actually a staffing group um, that works as a contractor to Nintendo of America. So while this reads, reads like Nintendo. Right, and you think about your boys at Nintendo, right? Like all those, all the, the iconic folks doing bad things. This could potentially just be a really shitty staffing group that is that is doing shit they're not supposed to do. Now, <clears throat> according to this Axios article, which is probably gonna hit me with a uh, sign up for my newsletter thing in a second, uh, there was a hair in your espresso. What? Just drink it. So I've never been to a Starbucks and I'm proud of that fact. Oh, well, good for you guys, man. I'm so happy you guys don't go and like spend money and, uh, on, on delicious things. Jeez. Although, honestly, if you're in Europe, I don't know why you would ever do that. Isn't like all European coffee supposed to be like fucking glowing and just angels singing when you drink it and everything? Like little tiny little bitch ass cup. <laughs> 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 you get most of my caffeine from hair samples, yeah. <laughs> yes, it makes. You make your own coffee. You grow them shits. You grow it? No, you don't. No, you don't. You grow beans. Uh, French press your own. Dang, angels, angels from the from the the morning guys, the good morning guys. Anyways, anyways, so the complaint comes in. We picked it up. We don't have a lot of information just yet, but we do have a statement from Nintendo saying, because we're drawing lines. We're drawing lines. We're saying, well, wait a minute. If this is a non-sexual harassment suit, which is kind of how it reads, um, <clears throat> we could probably assume it has something to do with staffing, staff organization. It's possible. Maybe. It's the hottest thing right now. Everyone's doing it. They're seeing that other people are unionizing and they're like, yeah, bro, let's fucking do it. Let's coordinate this shit and do it. <laughs> right? And so we could assume it's probably it. But Nintendo did say, they did come out and they said, Nintendo is not aware of any attempts to unionize or any related activity. It says, we are aware of the claim which has been filed with the NLRB by a contractor who was previously terminated for the disclosure of confidential information and for no other reason. The disclosure of confidential information, oh, sorry, uh, Nintendo is not aware of any attempts to unionize or related activity and intends to cooperate with the investigation conducted by the NLRB. So, while it could seem, and for a minute, man, we feel like, not Nintendo! We just talked like last episode or two episodes ago about Nintendo doesn't get involved in drama. They don't comment on that stuff. They kind of stay out of it. They're like, whatever. Right? And so I was just like, oh, what happened? Reggie left. <laughs> and it looks like it could just be, as they say, someone leaking secrets from a contractor. And they were canned. And they were like, man, fuck you. I'm going to take this shit up. NLRB. Put that shit in. See what happens. So that's breaking news. We're going to follow up on that later. Insert Blizzard at the top of that two years ago. Yeah. 
Uh, according to the complaint, it's literally one person, so it could just be a psycho. Yeah, exactly. It's just one person. It's just like, it's it's absolutely just one person. There's a whole there's a whole thread here. Kind of breaks it down. It says we don't know who filed the complaint. Could be uh, a Nintendo worker. It could be a member of the public on their behalf. Uh, and it says discharge employee who either try to join or support a union, but we don't know. Uh, we don't really know. So more details of allegations via the redacted charge letter. Fastest Freedom of Information Act ever. Let's see. District employee who either tried to see crackdown employee. Let me see. Hold on a second. I read this one very detail here. Uh, so it was within the previous six months, the employer discharged employees because the employees engaged in and in, in protected concerted activities by inter alia uh, discussing wages and or other terms and conditions of employment in order to discharge employees. Well, OK, so hmm, it's basically saying that these 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 elements coincide with the dates that are put into the uh, into the case. So it could be the same person who was released could have a case there, but sounds like a revenge. Yeah. Or or. It could just be revenge. It could just be revenge. I'm mad. Fuck you, Nintendo. Fuck you, Reggie. Fuck all of y'all. <laughs> I'm going to take us straight to the top. To the top. So one of Aston Carter owns Ass Technology Staffing. That's why I was curious who it was. I went to go look. And I was just like, I was just like, oh, is this a what, is this a business? Oh, is that? And then I realized, oh, it's a staffing group. Okay, yeah. They just, they just like contractors or something like that. You guys done drinking? No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Whoa, okay. Cheers. Cheers. That was fast. I've been saying fuck you ready for years. <laughs> Boom, baby. Fury, thank you so much. Saved it just by a little bit, huh? Cheers again, everybody. 100th episode. Woo woo! Oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, okay. We'll come back to that. <laughs> Sega. Sega. I can't do it. Sega. Didn't Rage leave Nintendo? Yes, that's the joke. <laughs> that's the best part of the joke. It doesn't even work there anymore. <laughs> that's right, 100. Now, listen, Sega. Sega. Sega has a plan. They have a five-year plan. They sat down in the last, at their last uh, uh, quarterly, Boom, and they said, yo, Crash, thank you so much. They said, we're leaving it on today because of celebration. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, and we need more fog. Notice that it just works. You see that? We fixed it, and it just freaking works. No more. So, Sega has a five-year plan to take some of their more popular games, like, Boom, baby. like Serene says, Crazy Taxi, and Jet Set Radio, and turn them into what they're calling super games. Rizali, proud of you. Thank you for sharing your creativity. Thank you for funding it. <laughs> Thank you. Super game. What is a super game? They have a detailed list. I'm just going to try to remember some of them on top of my head. It's it's a full AAA release, multi-platform, the full the full everything. They haven't they haven't said no NFTs, but they haven't said yes NFTs. <laughs> we could just put that on basically everything, can't we? I think so. They haven't said no. <laughs> so it's a maybe. So they're going to take these games and uh, they're going to put a significant amount of time into taking them and turning them into full-blown AAA experiences. Now, I love Crazy Taxi. One of my favorite arcade games. Sit down, just have a fucking blast. Blah, it's like crazy. You know, for three minutes and then you're done. Try and make the Sega multiverse. Exactly, yeah. And while I can't see a Jet Set Radio and Crazy Taxi, like, multiverse where they kind of interact, because they're all goofy characters, right? I, I don't know exactly what they have planned for Crazy Taxi. Jet Set Radio, open world, there's all kinds of cool stuff you could do with that. Lots of art assets, so if they want to get NFTs and really piss everybody off, they have plenty of opportunity to do that. Crazy Taxi is just like an arcade game. 
And so I'm not entirely sure what they plan on doing with that. Uh, <clears throat> the Sega verse. I like that, Clayton. I like that. How do they turn that into their Fortnite? Thank you. How do you turn that into your Fortnite? That's the plan, though. It's the plan that they're, they're investing up to 882 million. This is a lot. <laughs> $882 million they're putting in to make these super games. Um, and it says several titles are being developed with the, within the framework of super game. They're calling it this too, by the way. And while each title will vary, there is no doubt there'll be interactive titles that go beyond the traditional framework of games. For example, in the past, people who played games were called gamers. But now, watching games has become a culture in itself. And such people could no longer be called gamers. I think there's great potential in the relationship between people who play and watch games. We are thinking of creating new entertainment within these possibilities. So this sounds sweet. It sounds like what Twitch connectivity? It's, it's, I don't know, right? It could be a number of things. But in the context of Fortnite, I hope they're not just saying, well, let's just make a really popular colorful game and incorporate some things that have worked before. And then hopefully we could capture that viewer audience. Um, I hope that they go the route of let's actually further develop and innovate on viewer player interactions as it pertains to in-game actions or features or whatever. That's what I would expect to see from this. Still no idea where the other hundreds of millions of dollars towards crazy taxi is going to go. <laughs> you ain't a gamer. Vampire Survivors did it for $3. And they're still putting out updates. <laughs> they have some wild character unlocks now in Vampire Survivors. Fortnite is a vessel for IPs now. Not its own thing. I guess that's all this a metaverse needs to be. Yeah, huh? Maybe let's put it into, into Fortnite. Can I either play in Ready Player One or watch someone play Ready Player One? True. <sighs> they said they have 50 people working on this right now. 882 multi-platform global multi-language development simultaneous worldwide release triple a global blockbuster sonic mania though is developed mostly by fans oh they can't make a good Sonic. oh yeah well um what will you make a good sonic game wait wait since when don't you be talking about my sonic colors sonic colors man you got the dope theme song it's the best theme song ever Sounds like Fallout Boy. Uh, Spinball is okay. Oh, oh, exactly. It wasn't. It wasn't Sega. Raising Transformed. Raising Transformed is another good one. Color. Oh, <laughs> recently, recently we had a holiday. Speaking of fog in the room, recently we had a holiday. Anybody remember what what it is? Anybody know? What was, what was it? What was it? It was a major global holiday. Mmm. Their main cash crop, Fantasy Online 2, has died out painfully from all territories. Well, they don't have the overhead of having to develop consoles or anything anymore, or even putting R&D into that, so I'm pretty sure they're probably swimming in bucks. Oh, it's Earth Day! Okay. Well, okay. Kind Okay. Okay, kind of Earth, but that's not what we're talking about. No. Mm-hmm. That's right, Poppy. 420 came out! Now, if you're a game developer and you're like, I'm going to make a game about weed. And I'm going to put out a huge update on National International Weed Day. That's how you hope things go. I'm going to make my weed game and then I'm going to push a huge release on 420. It's going to get tons of traction. But instead, something bad happened. <laughs> Clusterfuck happened. So Weed Shop 3, which is a, it's a, it's, it's a dispensary simulator of sorts. Uh, Weed Shop 3. Hey, hold on. I think I sprinkle some of this over here. Just kind of make it look like, there we go. There's a party. Um. This is the, oh, obviously the third in the series. It's a very it's a trilogy, right? It's a big deal. Uh, they had a uh, a, a, a a mishap <laughs> where they went to go push an update, and instead of the update pushing to live, 
the the 420 release the is what they're calling it instead of the update pushing it ended up knocking the game back into uh coming soon you know whenever you, whenever you go to like buy the game or whatever and it's like right when it's about to go about to go live with them put the push the button yet and it says like coming soon or whatever <laughs> So they actually did that, and there was no way to undo that from their end. And so what happened was, a apparently, nobody could actually even play the game. Unless it was, like, locally installed. But even people who had it locally installed couldn't play the game. <laughs> Stoner sounds about right. Yeah. <laughs> so they struggled... <laughs> The whole day they struggled. It was a big update for these guys, right? Um, they they struggled, but they did finally get it out. It was uh, April, sorry, on April four twentieth, of course, at uh, at six fifty four p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, where it is where it's basically no longer four twenty anywhere in the world except for the U.S. and Hawaii. Um, <laughs> God, at the last second. I mean, it sucks because they would. I mean, if it came out the next day, I'd have to call it the 421 release, man. It just doesn't work that way. Oh man, we were just talking about uh, talking about uh, 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 writers and, and being paid and all that stuff, huh? When all the stoners have already passed out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's at, at that point in time. That's where the stoners are trying to smoke more. They're like, "Whoa, I can't get high. What's going on?" Because they've already smoked their limit for the day. That happens, right, Top? <laughs> so. Speaking of earlier, uh, paying Boom, people baby. what they what they what they deserve. The fuck you missed it, man! You missed the whole shit. Cheers for you. Cheers for you. Yeah, every day, every day. Yeah, you got ch you chasing that high at the end of the day. Top has no limit. Man, I was able to get higher this morning. What happened? <laughs> Uh, Hawaii, it's like 420 every day. I walk back to the house on the way home and always smell it strong before I pass the house it's coming from. There you go. Um, so, IGN. I know some of you guys are really good. Oh, it's okay, Jordan. It's okay. We were thinking about you. Man, you missed the whole video package too, man. Uh, <laughs> IGN is looking to pay writers. Now, I don't remember what we paid writers at Zam, but I can tell you it was probably pretty cheap. It was probably pretty cheap. It was probably about the same price that IGN is offering for their writers. Um, which is, and I know some of you guys already know the answer. If you already know the answer, how much do you think, or sorry, if you know the answer, don't say anything. But for those who don't know the answer, how much do you think a person should get paid for writing a story? Pick a story on IGN. How much someone get paid for writing that story? Just, just think, think. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do the research. I gotta type it up. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta submit it to an editor. And make any changes? Submit it to the editor. Make any changes? And I gotta submit it for published, and then they take it, and then here they go. Right? Uh, Ten dollars is IGN quality. <laughs> what article is one dog shit? I should have said some other site. <laughs> you guys are like, IGN sucks. Well, guess what? It's 20 bucks. All right. And like I said, I don't remember how much you're paying at Zam. It was probably like 20 bucks. Although I think it was more than that. And that was like seven years ago. That's like seven years ago. Eight years ago, we were paying that much. Back when gas was like four and a half dollars a gallon. I don't know anymore, actually. I know it's been high for a long time. So, <clears throat> wow, it's like 500 per feature? The fuck? Really? Them bitches only want to pay me like 200? Well, how much do they pay me per episode of BFF Report? Oh, it was 250 bucks. But initially, they tried to pay me 125. I was like, hell no. Fuck out of here. So it says an hour. Yeah, it, 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 it says $20. That's about an hour, if that. So of course there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of fallout here. I mean, look at how many quote tweets. That's all you really got to see, right? <laughs> so this tweet right here says, uh, I mean, I'm just, I don't necessarily just blindly go through here, but it will cost more to get to and from work for the uh, for the story. Cost more for the yeah. This is gonna be people that are, that live at home, right? For sure. And some people are trying to justify. It, it says uh, it says that's right. Everyone freelancing articles about video games with a read time of under five minutes is not going to make you rich, no matter how bad you wish it would. But I bet you could bang out one a week, and boom, your Wi-Fi bill is covered. That's what this job is for. So, 
<clears throat> I don't know, man. Like, it's a pretty big ratio. Yeah, exactly. Um, wow, that was the reason I got an ad blocker, but I haven't gone to their site in years. I went for the first time recently uh, just to show something to a friend. I could tell you, though, like some of those issues that we were having with ads on, on Wildhead, that was just our our uh, our ad provider. We kept switching ad providers, and they all kept doing the same fucking thing, which is whenever you run out of ads to serve, then it just goes to the bottom of the barrel, which is all the, like, all the malware and, like, shitty ads, right? Now, the way that, they, that Wildhead was constantly getting to the bottom of the barrel on ads is they were auto-refreshing their pages. Uh, so the page, if you go to Wildhead... I don't know if you do it, it doesn't now. I hope I hope not. But if you went to Wild back in like 2015 or something like that, and you kept it on the page, it would constantly refresh. And that was one of the biggest complaints. And we couldn't get we could not get anyone to want to change it. Like it was not something they want to change because they were like, well, if we change it, then we have to fire everybody. And that was it. So kind of like sucking a rock in a hard place. Um, so <clears throat> so yeah, all those ads, they were shit. And they were our own doing. And simultaneously our undoing, apparently. Uh, one a week, $40 a month for a Wi-Fi bill? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's 80 bucks. 80 bucks is a pretty good a Wi-Fi bill. Um, so $20 an article if you're looking. If you're looking to write something. And they fired everybody anyways. Yeah, pretty much. Um, hell, you might even be able to write a story like this. Tara! You guys remember Tara? Big ass monsters? Terra is officially closing down because Blue Hole says they want to work on some other shit, man. They're tired of they're tired of maintaining this. It's too long. Too long. This story made me feel old. Yeah. More than a decade of operation. More that you saw what? You saw Terra installed? On what? On a current PC? Hold on. Mm -mm, Terra. What about my Terra? Uh, Terra Online, April 25th, 2012 is when I did my... What's up guys, Mike V with the BF. Wow, Report. look at Today that guy! talking about Terra. This is a very long episode, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, character creation. <laughs> yep. Oh, Terra, man. We gonna miss it. We gonna miss Why? it. Why? We gonna miss it, man. The old days. Your hair is black. I know, my hair is black. I didn't think it was a problem. I didn't think it was a problem. It's so black though. That's so what happened? Oh, it's still kind of I mean, it's not bad. But the sides though, man. The sides. Got a Doctor Strange thing going. Back in the Mike Helium void days. No, nah, man. It's a different microphone, man. I told you guys already. <laughs> Play the shit out of this with Laura and the gang. I know. Yeah, I know. Well, they're closing down. Um uh, in terms of a date, actually, I didn't put in the goddamn date of all this stuff. Here he goes. Adventure, the adventure ends. The adventure ends. Last remaining publisher. As the last remaining publisher, it is with heavy heart that we must respect Blue Hole's decision, and we will also have to shut down the game. Um, yeah, I didn't grab the date on this, so my apologies. It was kind of busy, all right? I had to set up the balloons and the tinsel and all that stuff. Right here it is. Switched off 10 a.m. on 30th of June, 2022. So there's probably going to be some cool end-of-life things that they're going to do for that. Maybe spawn some, like, ultra-big-ass monsters or something. Um, man, what a, what, a, what a, like, an awesome game for the time, right? Like, for the time, like, Terra was such a great, like, breath of fresh air where every game, like Rift and uh, 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 the upcoming, I mean, Final Fantasy XIV, and of course, um, and then Eleven, sure, uh, and every MMO, wow, every MMO, every MMO, right? They all had kind of the same feel. You know, your character doesn't really have any volume, there's no, like, impact or whatever, and then you get into Terra, and all of a sudden, like, you're, like, really actively blocking things, you're really actively attacking things, and it felt fucking good, it felt fucking good. You want an overlord situation? Mm. Weird to see DDO outliving this. Rift is still going. <laughs> Rift is still alive and well. Uh, yeah, uh, Lotro still still going. Uh, STO still going. I, I, yeah, somewhat, it's a little bit blurry how many of these games actually came out at the same time. Champions Online, is that still going? I think that's still going, isn't it? Champions Online game. Hold up, hold up. Uh oh. Oh yeah, it's here. Look at that. Yeah, look at a recent article from today. Legend of Doofus's costume contest. They're having a costume contest. They're having a costume contest. 
The champion's online. <laughs> the game has a community. Arcade still being thrown around different publishers like Hot Potato. Oof. Planet Side 2 still going. Yeah, all these sides. You know, but it really comes down to exactly what Blue Hole said. They said, ah, you know, we just kind of work on other things, man. It says right here, unfortunately, we we come bearing bad news. Terra's developers, Blue Hole, have decided to cease work on Terra. After much consideration, the team in South Korea have begun, have come to the conclusion that they are no longer able to offer you the exciting and satisfying content you deserve. As the last remaining publisher of Terra's heavy heart, ba da 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 So, 10 long years. And request 28 expansions. Yeah. So if you want to get in there and smash some monsters, you got until the 30th of June to go through and explore Arborea. 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 But rip. In news that relates to probably some of us, do any of you guys, this is more like a, maybe like a we'll find out kind of thing, right? But Twitter Blue is a paid, I think it's a $2.99 a month. It's a paid service that Twitter's offering where you could get like special shapes on your uh, profile picture if it's like an NFT or something. You can get um, an undo button. So when you send a tweet and you're like, oh shit, you can undo it. You could just delete it, but you know, it's an undo button. <laughs> yeah, but this one goes to 11. <laughs> But now people are digging in and they're finding out that it's very possible. Oh, yeah, insights. Yeah, it's very possible that TweetDeck could become a Twitter blue feature. They found uh, while while digging that they found that a redirect when you log in, if well, sorry, a check is made when you log in, if there's a Twitter blue account in a TweetDeck, this is. Um, and then if not, then it will redirect you. So this is this is a. Keep an eye out because this could be a thing for those of you guys who use tweet, tweet deck like I do. Uh, <clears throat> Twitter blue doesn't have a whole lot of value. Not a whole lot. I mean, unless you want a hexagonal, you know, uh, 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 avatar that everyone's going to give you shit for, right? Uh, it's not really a lot going for it. But if they lock Twitter blue behind it, or sorry, tweet deck behind Twitter blue, then, I mean, not only will you have a huge revolt and whatnot because, you know, they're, they're, they're taking things away from us and, charging us for things instead of putting in actual useful features uh i saw i saw a tweet yesterday about how i said what did they say he said he said how is it there are like a thousand emojis and the only thing we could do is like a post and it's true on every other social media platform there's different ways to like something right um every other instagram does this is just like double tap like double tap to like but in messages you can long press and get more options so yeah, there's, 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 there are a lot of features that are just straight up missing from, from Twitter that we'd like to see. Uh, I'm sure that Elon Musk will take care of all that for us. <laughs> Our savior, Elon, is going to walk right in there and be like, give us an edit button. <laughs> He's been trying to kill TweetDeck for years. He's going to actually do it. Yeah, that's how they're going to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> Twitter has a downvote button, but only you see it. Others don't see what you downvote. That's right. Editing, who'd want that? Man, if you if you tweet, my man, I hate I hate the whole like, oh, if only Twitter had an edit button. Bitch, just proofread your shit. Just proofread your shit. Oh, well, Twitter edit button. No, just, just look at it. And if you fuck it up, delete it and try again. Or just own it. I got misspellings in my shit. I know I do. I'm not going to delete the tweet to put it out again just because I made one one mis misspelling. <laughs> Although most of the time I do. But still, just look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, lastly. Oh my god, we're already through? Oh, I guess. Wow, it's, yeah, it was just about an hour. I never make mistakes. That's right. I spell good. G-U-D. That's my favorite. <laughs> S-P-E-L-G-U-D. Spell good. So I know a great deal of us use Netflix. But how many of us actually pay for it? Hmm? Hmm? Any payers in here? Anyone shelling out the big bucks for a Netflix account? Anyone? You do? Now, do you pay for it or do you share it? And if you pay for it, do you share it? You do. Yeah, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do. Use it for years. You did pretty good. I pull off those sunglasses for a thing. You crip. Appreciate it. I know. I, Kind of work for me. 
And you share. There you go. You used to buy what they upped the, 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 the price, so I canceled. No, he made my sister get her own. <laughs> oh, the one pay for the in-laws to use it. Pay a premium so my three family members can watch it too. Because that's included. Only when there's a show I actually want to watch, otherwise I hardly ever have a sub. There you go. You pay for it and my parents use it. Well, listen. They have estimated that some uh, 2 million subscribers. No, wait. No, no, no. More than this. 100 million. Okay. 100 million households are using shared accounts. And to nobody's surprise... After the pandemic, where everyone was home all the time watching fucking Tiger Joe and all of his bullshit, they're down 200,000 subscribers this year. So they're looking at maybe cracking down on people who share accounts, password sharing. We have already... As a result of this, we are just like, you know what? It, before it even gets to this point, let's just let's just cut it off. We'll just fire it up whenever there's something good on we want to watch. We'll fire it up then. But yeah, it's just like it's like ah, it's mean. <laughs> Netflix is the most expensive sub out there, though. Yeah. Well, no, YouTube TV's kind of got them all beat. Uh, I'm sure they'll crack down on people that are sharing among like five household. Crack down on sharing will just lose more subs. So that's that's I think what they're trying to do here. They're trying to figure out. It's like okay, if we crack down on this, a hundred million households that they're saying is using a shared account. They're looking at okay, we lost two hundred thousand subscribers. If we inconvenience one hundred million people, could we get? Back some of those subscribers it's a potential it's a it's an option they're looking at they're weighing their options Yar, yeah the pirates man i mean all these changes and all these all these like all these uh price fluctuations with services and they keep on like making it just slightly worse right they're adding ads like hulu right there's like there's an ad free version and then an ad version but you're still paying for it either way um yeah all of this all of this it just, it just feel like it's just pushing people back to, to their old ways. The people who aren't paying still won't pay. That's what I feel like is probably going to happen. It's, it's like, it's like pirating. <laughs> like you're not gonna, you're not gonna, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just the Netflix is lacking in the content of late. Anyways, it's not a major reason to keep them going for a lot of people. I remember when like Netflix had everything. Like this is back in 2012 or something when Declan was born. Yeah, 2012. Uh, we were watching a lot of Netflix because Netflix was like the biggest thing that was out at the time, and so they had everything, like every every random show you could think of, like they had it. And now it's, I mean, they have a lot of great shows on their own that they produce, but it's no longer like a blockbuster, right? Where you could go in and find some like rare shit or something. It just doesn't quite work that way anymore. I think Prime is now like the number one for. If you want it, well, you have to rent them, of course, if it's not available on Prime, but still it's accessible. Whereas on Netflix, because it's a hundred percent a paid subscription streaming service, they don't have an unpaid section. <laughs> so when Netflix mailed you VHS tapes, VHS, I remember DVDs. Um, now it's back to the old ways and back to old ways for me too. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm not saying you should do it. Amazon Prime is the only sub at the moment, and that's for the shipping. Well, if they get unionized, then guess what? That's going to go up, too. Finding all their movies is getting harder and harder on any streaming service. Yeah, Amazon somehow just manages to be the one that comes out on top there. Just giving us, like, I mean, you could basically get any anything there. Like, even the most obscure titles, I feel like, are available for streaming or... Or I guess you just buy the DVD or whatever. But, man, these streaming services are really killing me. Like, we're back to... We are actually back to YouTube TV uh, as, like... Our only, or YouTube and YouTube TV as like our two main providers of, of, of content. Uh, Declan gets a lot, a lot of use out of Paramount Plus because it's got Godzilla and it's got uh, 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 SpongeBob. Um, and HBO Max is great or Plus or whatever it's called because there's so much stuff available on there. And of course we have Prime. But like Netflix and Hulu, they don't have any like, they don't have any exclusives for like, you know, for content. 
like you used to be able to get all the next generation episodes on uh or all the star trek episodes i feel like on on netflix and now they've lost that too so um you use Amazon Music, but that's an option too. Yeah, whenever Netflix does something that's hard, prevents password sharing, like Netflix is 100% going to be painfully hurting it. Yeah. Uh, so you can get it those in Canada. Oh, you can? Oh, maybe maybe it's still available. I, th I thought they moved them all to Paramount Plus here in the States, but I could be wrong here. Um, yar! That's right. That's right. Yar! Well, man, episode 100. We've got to get a couple of more here. Let's go. Episode 100, everybody, of the news. Y'all, y'all, Paramount Plus really isn't a thing in Canada. Oh, okay, well, that's probably makes sense. Dude, thank you so much, me more. Thank you so much for joining me today on the 100th news episode. I'm coming right back. We're going to hang out for a little bit and chat, and I'm going to open the windows and everything like that so we can get some of this stuff out of here. All right? Thank you again, chat, for being here for 100 episodes. You guys, 100% attendance for you guys. It's amazing. You guys hear more than I am. Appreciate it. You guys be good. Asta! Thank you again, miss, for that song. You're the best.